What is happening, Roddy? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy. Coming to you live, bringing out this upcoming A game slate. Before we begin, like when we definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, as a ton as y'all know. But the presenting sponsor of the show is Price Picks Daily Fantasy. It's a great app to be a part of. You can pick the over under on players. Pick your stars, choose the over under on points, anything like that, or like I said, assist. So definitely check that out. Give me one second, actually. Sorry about that, guys. I saw my dog jump on the bed if you didn't see me in the background, but I was a little confused. But anyways, we're here breaking down this slate. Let's start off with Charlotte at Cleveland. So on the Charlotte side. LaMelo Ball, 8-5. I don't really like the matchup for him. I'm much rather kind of go elsewhere. Terry Rozier, I'm not a huge fan of at 7-9. Again, I'd just rather go elsewhere on this slate. It's an A-game slate, so we do have options. Uh, Miles Bridges, 7-6, is a little bit intriguing to me. Um, but the bigs on this team, no, I'm not really a huge fan of. I'm kind of staying away from overall. And then Kelly Oubre, I don't really trust it at all. So I, I'm just kind of fading this team overall. On the Cleveland side, though, I do like, if there's no Darius Garland, I do like me some Brandon Goodwin. I know the price did go up, but I still like it at six, honestly. And then Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, I do like Evan Mobley here at 7-2. And then Kevin Love, we know he is upside if he gets the minutes. We just need to kind of keep an eye out. Indy at Orlando. So on the Indy side, with Brogdon being back, I'm kind of taking a step back from Tyrese Halliburton at 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm much rather go to Malcolm Brogdon, but he healed 7-3. Not a huge fan. But let's talk about one guy in a second. Let's talk about Isaiah Jackson. What are we doing with Isaiah Jackson here? Because if he gets the minutes, we know he's a point per minute guy. I just don't know what to do with him. That's the issue. When we have Brissett, when we have Jalen Smith, what are you going to do with that guy? So I think he does have the upside. I really do. So, but let's talk about another guy on the Orlando team that I cannot wait to talk about. Guess who's back? Back again. I'm going to let y'all look at this for a minute. He's back. I like him here at 4 7. In 16 minutes, he went 5 for 7 and got you 21 fantasy points. This man is back. At 4 7, I love me some Marco Fultz. So I'm kind of getting away from Cole Anthony, especially. And we're going to especially see more Marco Fultz if there's no Cole Anthony at the point guard if he's out. So I like me some Marco Fultz a ton. I really do. <coughs> New York and Philly. New York side, no Walker, no Grimes, no Rose, obviously. So Julius Randle, 9 4. I don't really like the matchup for him. Much of they kind of go elsewhere. Arj Barrett, not a huge fan at 7-5. Um, Evan Ford, 8-5-9. I understand it, but again, I don't really trust it. Alec Burks at 5-3. No, thank you. Mitchell Robinson, 5-2. Not getting to a lot of this Knicks team, especially in this matchup. On the opposite side, though, Ed, do you want to go to Joel Embiid or do you want to go to James Harden? I like either one. And the matchup isn't the greatest, but I do like James Harden a little bit more. That's going to take away from Tobias Hires. That's going to take away from Maxey. I'm not getting into much else on this team. Let's go to Utah and Houston. On the Utah side, everybody's healthy, so you know what that means. I'm not really a huge fan of healthy teams. Donovan Mitchell, 8-8, eight, eight, no thank you to me. Rudy Gobert, 7-8. This matchup is good. He has the potential to, fl to flare up in the front court, so I do like that. Mike Conley, Bog, no thank you on either one. Jordan Clarkson, 5-1, not really a huge fan. And I'm not getting to white side when Gobert is healthy. On the Houston side, though, possibly no KBJ, so I'm going to get to a lot of Dennis Roder, once again, at 5-8. Christian Wood, 8,000. Somebody's going to have to do the offense on this team in the front court. I do like him a little bit. And then Jalen Green, I understand the love at 5'5, five, five, but much other just give me the short air. So Miami and Milwaukee on the Miami side, no Lowry, no the Depot, no Martin possibly. So Dewey Butler, 9 2. Don't like the matchup at all. I'm staying away from this matchup, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm at about 8 7. I understand it. But I'm kind of staying away. Tyler Hero, 6 5, a little bit expensive, in my opinion. Gabe Vincent is picking up good minutes. I do like him as a value play. Milwaukee side, Giannis, 12 2. If you get to him, you get to him. But I want you to think of James Harden. Uh, Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton are both secondary options. You all know how I feel about him when Giannis is playing. You can get to either one, but I'm not really a huge fan of either one. Bobby Ford is 6 7, not liking the matchup for him. And then the bench options are much rather go to other value. 
Sacramento at the Pelicans. Good matchup. Fast-paced matchup. Bonus or smash in this matchup at 9 I love it. Jaron Fox, 9-1. I, I don't mind that at all as a secondary option. I like him more than Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton, if that tells you anything. Harrison Barnes, no thank you. Jeremy Lamb, 4-2. The minutes are all over the place. Mitchell and D- Demon Chins are two value plays, I understand, as, as long as they get the minutes. On the Pelicans, CJ McCollum, 9,000. I love him on the opposite side as a run back. Um, Joe Val, 8,000. I like him in this matchup. Good spot for him. Uh, Brandon Ingram, much like Joe Val and CJ. Jackson Hayes, no thank you. I'm not getting to any other guards on this team. Let's go to the final two games in OKC and Denver. Not a good match for OKC, but look at who's our, everybody's out. So give me SG at 10,000. I know it's a happy price tag to pay. I get it, but this is a, he's going to have to run the offense. I like him. I like him some Trey Man at 5'6". I don't mind Baisley at 5'9". I don't mind this team. It's just look who they're facing. That's my only downside is if I don't mind the starters, but, again, this is against Denver. So Jokic, 12'4". He's the main setup I want to get to in this spot. He's going to destroy it. I love him here. I'm not getting to much else on this team because Jokic run this, runs this offense. Now, Portland against Phoenix, sneaky upside game. Uh, Simmons, A2. I like him. I like Josh Hart at 7 6. Give me some Eubank starting. I like that at 4 3. And then CJ LB is a low usage rate guy. I don't mind it. And then on the Phoenix side, Dem Booker's going to have to do it all. I like him at 9 7. I like DeAndre Eaton at 6 8 in the spot. And then give me some of Holiday at 4 4. I like him compared to Cameron Payne a ton. So that wraps up the slate for us, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hope it's a great slate for us tonight. Have a good one, everybody.